Yo, what up, you a cape? It's your boy Dollar B, and no limit forever. Chillin' right here with my man Fonz from the UK. This is y'all homie, so y'all got to go out and support him because I'm ready to let y'all know he will be coming soon. And I want to send a special shout out to about that from the UK. It's your boy Dollar B. Man, I, I got a dope song with C Murder. And I don't even like saying that name, but that's the reason why I brought up the story. I got a dope song with C, and the reason why I will not drop it is because the, the murder name is on there, and I don't want to be a part of uh, of him not coming home, so I won't release it because of his name. You understand what I'm saying? C is, the whole Miller camp, man, is just... Yeah, see, see, murder man. He's a, uh, a he's a good dude, man, and and and, and, and uh, he went to war beside me, man. When he heard I had war, he went he went to war immediately, no questions asked, like he's supposed to. You know what I mean? And um, I got a lot of stories with him, man. I was with him before he got locked up the first time, and since then, man, I just won't drop that song, man. I won't drop it because I don't want I don't want nothing to hinder hinder him from coming home, man. That's an ill fight right there, you know. He's stronger than me because I would have broke out or I'd be dead. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing yeah. nobody I ain't doing nobody's time like that, man. I ain't doing it. And see, murder's a hell of a man, man. He's a hell of a man, hell of a man, hell of a, man. Hell of a, a artist and all that type of shit, man. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. say any any stories from um the rest of the Miller boys and um any stories of chilling around Steady Mobbing. You was actually on um a stick up on the Steady Mobbing job. Yeah, yeah, man, Steady Mob on a job. Yo, man, listen, Steady Mob was some scary dudes, man. Scary, son. Scary. When I say scary, I mean when you feel like you're the best, like your pen is the best. And you get next to some motherfuckers, man, that, that got some pin, you you, you got to shake in your boots a little bit, man. Damn. And and Crooked was a nasty. He was, he was like, he was, now, he was a brain nigga when it comes to, to music. Like, you got to listen to what he's saying. That's just some hard, real, sh see, when you can take realness and put it in rhyme, that's ill to me. That's way better than rapping. Rapping, you could just be like, they say, hey, man, I want you to write a rap about being at the top, top of the Empire, em, Empire State Building, but you've never been in New York. They could rap or could do that shit, and that make that shit sound good. Yeah. You know what I mean? But a motherfucker that rhyme, to put real life in rhyme, that shit right there to me is tough. And Crooked from Steady Mom was dope at that shit. Dope. You gotta hear what he's saying. And Bathgate was just an emotional ill nigga. Just so emotional though, but he ill. You know what I'm saying? So being around them cats, man, just let me know, man, that the East Coast wasn't the only niggas that could spit. <laughs> you know what man. I'm saying? That's 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 what that showed me. That and, and when I say the East Coast, I I mean that all I. I would think only niggas in LA had a little bars or, no, or something like that. But them niggas up there, them niggas had crazy bars. Stupid. Stupid. Ghetto you know. Commission, them niggas too. Silk the Shocker. Fucking Slim. Silk. Silk is the type of motherfucker is like he could kind of do what he what he wants. When he put his mind to, he could do it. You know what I'm saying? He wanted them tight. You know what I mean? Um, Reginelli and them, they they some uh, to me again emotional geniuses. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers is talking real shit. They emotional as fuck, but they talking some real shit and it rhymes. You know what I'm saying? So you, you talking about um uh like like fucking Skull Duggan, another motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Got his own lane. Yep. You know what I mean? Own lane, man. 
You know, it's a but like I said, man, my tank is dangerous, man. And I just wish we all come together because for real, for real, when nobody iller than the tank, man, in the nineties, man. Nobody was iller than the fucking tank, son. Master P knew what the fuck he was doing. He's a mad scientist his goddamn self. Wow. He knew what the fuck he was doing, son. He knew who he had. People was like, man, damn, anybody could have got a deal with no limit. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, there's think a there's a lot of people that was trying to get out that couldn't get that couldn't get down. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah. I, the P hand picked the, he hand picked the, us for reasons, different reasons. You know what I mean? And, I, and I'm sure, it, I'm sure uh, uh, some of us got picked because we could write. A lot of us got picked because we could write. P wasn't no punk. He wasn't scared of nobody's pen. He didn't give a fuck. And that's New Orleans type shit. Niggas in New Orleans don't give a fuck about your pen because they, they if they with you, then they with you. So your pen is they pen anyway, motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> they ain't on that shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, man, just a bunch of ill cats, man. Yeah, no, okay. yeah. So we got some people say, you know, salute, much love from Louisiana swamps. Uh, we got Hoffa who's asking any questions about or any anything about Cain and Abel. Uh now see, this is this is this is where last time me and you spoke, I said there was no East Coast artist. We was the first. But Cain and Abel was the uh the actual first artist from the East to sign with no limit. They from the Bronx and me and them used to be in the and New York together and all of that. And, but uh, I think they was living in the South, and that's why they was considered South. Their okay. slur was like the South and things like that. So, and, and, you know, and to correct what I said before, we wasn't the first artist from the East, but we was, I guess, uh, fresh from the East or something like that. I don't know how to say the word, say it. But Cain and Abel was living in New Orleans or somewhere along that line, down there already. Yeah, yeah. No, they. Were, I think they were called. Um, was it Double Vision before that? Man, I was with them. I was with them. It used to be me, Cain and Abel, and Matt. And so I remember coming from New York one time, and I, I, I went, I went to Cain and Abel's house, and uh. First thing I was like, yo, what call Mac? What Mac at? And he's looking at me all funny. I'm like, yo, call Mac, man. Because Mac is just a ill, just a ill something. Like, can't even put this nigga in a box. So I'm telling them call Mac, or whatever. And they looking at me. And I'm like, yo, don't look at me like y'all about to tell me some crazy shit. And he's like, yo, Mac got locked up. I am like. And then they told me why. I'm like, that was a collapse moment. Like, nah, man, just starting to get to know homeboy. You know what I mean? And so, you know what I mean? That was the little, that was a little click, man. One of the little clicks, man. Okay. Well, a, me and Matt. Shit, yeah, that's a dope little click right there, man. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, because Kane and Abel are visionaries, man. Uh, I see they do great work even to this day. You know, they continue doing great work. Yeah, they visionaries, man. And, 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 and I remember they went through their case and, and I was told to stay away from them. Yo, this that no limit shit was tough, man. Because, you know, I had to become like brothers with people that I didn't quite understand, like a Slay Sean. You know what I mean? In New York, me and him probably would have never talked. Like, he just, he different. You know what I'm saying? Master P made that family. Snoop Dogg. I was Snoop. Snoop? <laughs> Man, I ain't think two snots about Snoop, really. You know what I mean? I didn't think I didn't think Snoop was like, I thought Snoop was an ABC rapper. You know what I mean? I thought Snoop was a person who like watched us so hard over here that he had what he had until I heard murder was the case and then he shut my fucking mouth. Washed my mouth out with soap until I heard that shit. You know what I mean? 
Snoop, Snoop, Snoop was on their ass, and he was on their ass so hard that my smart ass couldn't couldn't understand it. That's what happened. And then Master P made us family. You know what I'm saying? So that made it even crazier. You know, but I shit. Now I would have me and Snoop wasn't on the same level. Me and Slay Sean and them wasn't on the same level. Official official, you know what I'm saying? They they did their own thing, of course. But you know, P P made them niggas family. But I, I could see myself fucking with them niggas. Them niggas was like this regular ill hood Philly niggas. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? That's that's how that went. You know, if you know Philly and you you hear them, you'd be like, Oh yeah, that's Philly all day. It's Easy. no mistake. Yep. Southwest. No mistake. Yep. Yeah, they repped they repped it hard, man. Um, especially um flames and you kind of stuff as well, man. Um yeah. They definitely had that that little vibe and sure. stuff going. Peace family, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.